Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obueda. Because there are people suffering right now. Heavy suffering. When they are supposed, they are not there. Listen to me, church. I don't like setback. I don't like when my equals are going forward and me and behind. I don't like that kind of thing. And I hear better than you. I don't know who is like me here. I don't like... I see somebody I know, then I have to explain myself why I'm like this. No! No! I need to be wise! That your contemporary will see you from our foot. I don't want to waste my life. I don't want to waste my life. And let me say this to you. If you don't want to waste your life, you have to learn to make decision that is consistent with your purpose. See, there's a point you come to every family member and need to know what you stand for. Most of you, your family members will come, they will kick you like this. Go left, you go. And what they are telling you to do is wrong. Go this way. You know, everybody does. Let me say this to you. You can't be a person of purpose if you don't have, you don't have your mind to do what is consistent with God's word. You cannot. As young as I was when I gave my life to Jesus, over 22 years ago, decisions to make and then I, I came from a family where our dad could send you go and buy him alcohol and every time I go and buy the alcohol for my dad and inside of me I was not feeling good about it I said I'm the man I'm the one buying the alcohol I'm tired of buying this alcohol and one day sent me I said that today I'm not buying this thing for you you can send anybody. First, at our neighbor used to send me to buy him all this alcohol, beer, all these kind of things. And they call me one day and say, help me. I said, sir, I don't buy those things again. I don't buy things like that for people anymore. He said, okay. I said, thank you, sir. So my last battle was my dad to look at your biological father and tell him, I'm not going to buy it today. I cannot be the one getting you drunk. Amen. You want to buy, buy for yourself. So I have to summon up the courage and tell him, today I'm not doing this. Is that you? Who told you that? I say, it's today. You know, people don't die two times, they die once. And that was how it was over. So you know that this boy has, he's young, 18 plus, but he has made up his mind to walk a righteous walk. Then my father said, go and eat your church. I said, yes, sir. Eat church. Making the decision to stand for what you want. People don't push me around. I tell you what I want. You don't want to hear it. Use any of the door. Who cares? I learned to make decisions and stand by the decision. You don't let people push your life around. And most people are trying to push you into wrong things. <laughs> it's my mother now. And what he's trying to push you into is not in line with the word of God. For the first time, I said, Dad, I'm sorry. This is not in line with God's word. The Bible said, children, obey your parents in the Lord, not in the flesh. Obey your parents as parents. You have no right to tell your son to steal, to tell your son to lie, to tell your son to... You have no right to do that. You have no right. Glory to God. We're talking about seven years of plenty. I'm giving you the keys. 
Purity is a foundational key. Now the next key is the fellowship key. That in these seven years of plenty, you, you have to make fellowship. There are people, they are begging them to come to service. They are begging them. It's like they are doing the church a favor to come for the service. Let me tell you this. If you are watching or you are seated down here, you are not doing me a favor for coming to church. Did you hear what I'm saying? Huh? You are not doing me any favor. That you left your house and come here this morning, you didn't do me a favor. You did yourself a favor. Yesterday, I went to my library and I got some old camp meeting messages that people like Kenneth Hagin, T.L. Osborne, John Austin, or Robert. I got them out. I said, this is what I'm going to be listening to in this season. I packed them inside my car this morning. I woke up. I brought out the John Austin. How strong is your want to? I started playing it. John Austin has gone home to be with the Lord. Whether I listen to the message or not, what does it have to do with John Austin? But he see you have to be wise to go for revelation. Fellowship is the life that sustains your vision. Fellowship. Running from fellowship is running from a place of dominion. That's where you get strength, young man. You have to spend time to pray. You have to spend time to pray. Pray. Some of you have time right now. You, you are not having so much job to do. You should be praying more. Pray because of the days ahead of you. Pray because of the future ahead of you. Pray. People of God, I used to have these friends. And... Um, who will spend hours praying. Hours. You know what prayer will do for you? In the place of prayer, you will hear. This life of complaining, things are not working well. Things are not moving well. I don't know what is wrong with me. What are you talking about? You don't know what is wrong with you. You should know. As you begin to pray, you will know what to do. You will know because in begins to come. Inspiration begins to come. Understanding begins to come. Your spiritual strength is built on these factors. Spending quality time reading the word of God and praying in the spirit. You gain energy. You gain strength. You don't pray. Some boy cannot even pray for 15 minutes by themselves. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, you know, if you pray. Ah, Pastor, me, I pray at midnight, oh. At midnight now, sleepers. You have watched movie for three hours. At midnight now, boom, sleep, don't go. Daytime, you will not pray. Let me say this to you. When Satan is planning you, eh? listen to me very well, though. Eh? When Satan, they arrange you, they arrange a person. Hmm? What he does is that he starts attacking their fellowship. They don't spend time to pray. You don't spend time to read the word. When you notice you're no more reading the word, you're no more praying, you're under oppression. You may not have the spiritual capacity to deal with. How did many people backslide? They got to a point where they feel like reading the Bible is a waste of time. But I don't get time at the pursue business. Which business? How much? People, let me tell you two ways to succeed in business. Is it that you're totally committed to God and the business will work? Or you're totally committed to devil and you are a ritualist, you're killing, you're doing all kind of crazy things. For things to move. It's either you are absolutely in God. There is no business person that is neutral in most cases. People belong to one thing or the other. And you that call yourself a Christian, you don't commit to fellowship and now you imported some everything sink in the high sea. To be the business, they just kill her. They just kill him. 43 years old. He was building his house. He was about to complete it. He comes to church once he wants to come. First, I'm very busy. Anything that takes you outside God 
you cannot sustain. Anything that takes you outside of God, you cannot sustain. You will get weary and tired because you need a supernatural help. Neutral people die quick. People who do business, neutral politicians die quick. Most politicians, their hands are not clean. They belong to one thing or another. So when you say you're a Christian, you want to go into politics, you must be a man of prayer. You must be a man of the word that when they go to their chamber and they begin to release their arrows, what are you supposed to do? You, you know how to control the arrows. You know how to manage the arrows. And you know how to break the arrows. Maluka paraga. You know how, if you want to send it back to them as a mail for them to receive their own mail, you know how to do that. A guy wanted to contest for the house of rep. The other day he just died yesterday. Yesterday or yesterday. They have killed him. From nowhere sickness came. From nowhere body. Life is spiritual, my brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, what did I say? Life is spiritual. There are people, they look at them and say, this one has ended. They waste their life. They are still alive going up and down, but nothing to achieve. Because of the dynamic nature of the spirituality of life. Life is spiritual. Some things that happen to you has a spiritual link. And this is why we pray. We pray to take charge. You pray to hear. You cannot say, me, I never, I have not looked for anybody's trouble. I'm a nice person. I'm a gentleman. When you're gentle, be violent in the spirit. If you are just gentle like that, my brother, some people will declare a different story for you. So fellowship is a key in this great abundance. Spending time with God is not a waste of time. This morning, a sister just came and told me something. He said they were calling my line this morning, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I never wake up sometimes. I did pray. And they have a challenge. Somebody just gave birth. After 13 years of marriage, no child. Just delivered this early morning. Baby died. 13 years. No child. Then the child came. Died. <laughs> so they were calling my line. That is why you need the word for yourself. As you can do things in case you call my line, they say busy. Because I'm not as I die. You didn't hear me well. Anybody angry with me or happy with me? I say I'm not a Shaddai. Look at your neighbor telling pastor is not a Shaddai. You are not telling your neighbor that you know. Look at your neighbor saying, neighbor, neighbor. Our pastor is not a Shaddai. Yeah. Imagine the one even that is putting the call up. They, by the, they know how to lay hand and begin to speak. You know, see, there are things that you need to know for yourself. For. You see, coming to church is not for the pastor benefit. You're not, you're not doing me good. See, there are life situations that come up where nobody will be there with you. You are just there by yourself. It is what you know that will help you out. Is it not true? When they say feed on the word, you're not helping anybody. You're helping yourself. When they say fast and pray, it's not for anybody. It's for yourself. When And they say, pray, spend time. You see, when I look at some people, say, you know, I'm, I'm just supporting pastor as I'm praying now. I'm helping pastor. That's why I'm coming to church. I'm helping him as he will not feel discouraged. <laughs> My brother and sister, I was talking to one of our church members yesterday. She asked me, Pastor, how is your, now I hope you're on break. Now, I said, I'm not on break. I'm working. You know. I'm at work. We'll have a meeting. He said, Pastor, you're still having missions. Friends, if you're careless, you cannot be useful. And there are people who are careless when it comes to the things of the Spirit. The more you succeed, the more you submit yourself to God. Church, what do you hear me say? The more you do what? You submit yourself to God. Think everybody laughing with you is for you. You're wasting your time. 
There are people that are not rooting for you. They are not rooting for you. When I was still in a school, found a year student, almost done with his project. God just killed him inside campus. After suffering, all the suffering, all the struggle, parents spent all the money. That's when you're a student, you're going to school, be spiritually minded. Getting admission doesn't mean finishing. Spending time to lay hold. I went to school, I was on fire for God. See, before I pack my things, going back to hostel, the first thing that enters my bag is my, is my workman. I've gotten all my tapes ready because I'm going to a school. That school can be seen as a war zone sometimes. My tapes, because I've come to school, I'll finish, I'll graduate. Courage. Put in my bag, my Bible is there, my things are there. I hang my bag, I'm going to school. So when I get to school, I come back to the hostel, I maybe lie down, take some few hours, I start listening to God's word. Hearing the word of God. Sometimes I go to school, maybe there is a free time, I just plug in my workman. Maybe can I help him? Maybe somebody just ministering to me. One day my roommate, Pastor Elijah Mutu, saw my workman and carried it. I was sleeping. He was listening. Then when I woke up, he said, so this is what I'm enjoying while I'm in this. <laughs> I said, oh boy, you don't get the idea. <laughs> you think I could just walk on the No, I needed my spirit to be on fire. What is your phone doing? Your phone, you put all kinds of cartoon inside of it. What? When demons come, when cartoon go, this a turn. This a turn. Is it what will save you? Cartoon. <laughs> cartoon inside your phone. No, not even Bible, not even word about cartoon. You have all versions of cartoon. Our daughter has become a baby. All versions of cartoon, you have them. When Satan knock your door, you know, what their name? I'm trying to remember one of their names. Hey. Eh? No, Ben Ten. There are recent ones. Maybe Isaac will come and tell me. <laughs> they will just come. Is it what those spirits were? What are you doing? Hey, just like, stop your match. Yeah, we're doing, yeah. He said, My name, you will cast out devils. <laughs> so, when the world is going inside of you, you have to do what? To cast out devil. There are families that you just look at, everybody is grinding to hot. I'm telling you, nobody's becoming anything, everybody's becoming useless. And they are just watching. No, don't just watch. Arise. Do I have anybody arising this morning? I will arise in prayer. I will arise in speaking the word of God. Get the word of God on your phone. Get messages. Listen to things. Get your spirit fired up. 219 is coming. It's not resolution you need. It's revelation you need. You need revelation. You need the word of God. Fellowship. Fellowship. Fellowship is foundational for these seven years of great abundance. Fellowship. 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 Sister, wake up in the morning. Read your Bible. Brother, wake up in the morning. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray. 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 As you pray, you will hear. As you pray, you will see. As you pray, you will understand. As you spend time with God, you will know the direction is taking you to. Life in spirit. To bury one of my friends many years ago, the pastor who died, man, I was broken. I was broken. I was broken. This is my childhood friend. We grew up in the same neighborhood. And one morning, I just got a call that he died. I said, what? I know he has gone home to be with the Lord, but that was not the time. There was nothing to trace his life. There was nothing. 
It was like a close life, except for the things he did for the kingdom. Come and see pain in the eyes of family members. No child, no nothing. There was, you know, the pain. There are people, their life was just closed. See, when you watch your life go in a different direction, then you need to shout. You need to spend time with God. Some people are just, <laughs> well, it will change, eh? Things don't change with time. Things change with the application of the truth. <clears throat> God has given us a word, seven years of abundance. Church, it is your job to jump into the flow. No, it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault that you didn't jump in or you didn't make the connection and said, this is a word from God. I'm going to run with it. In these seven years, I will do big things for God. Am I ministering to somebody here? Am I ministering to somebody here? What do you see in these seven years? What do you hear in your spirit? What do you hear? 219, 220, 221, 223, 224, 225. Begin to make the connection. 219, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224, 225. Do we get the 226? And you watch God do amazing things. What do you watch God do? What will God do? 226. 221, 222, 223, 224, 225. Do you see these seven years? Lay hold of it. It's your years to fulfill destiny. Finally, make so in a major part of the seven years. Make what? Sowing. Can I hear sowing? Sowing. Make sowing. Ministry. Service to God. Which area can I serve? Which area can I contribute to ministry? Which area can I serve? How can I be more relevant to the work of the kingdom? Opportunity to serve God. Opportunity. Don't just say, well, it's for children. It's for youth. I was talking to one of our brethren here. I said, the church where I got born again many years ago, a professor in that church used to be an usher. A professor in that church. And he just welcomed you, whether you're young or old, to take your seat. Because he understood the kingdom. He knew he's a prophet for Jesus. And there are so many people that find it difficult to save. Partnership is a key factor. Sowing. Sow through service. Sow through your diligence. Sow through your faithfulness. Sow through your consistency to ministry. Learn to give a right hand of fellowship to ministry. To support. Which area can I do this? What can I do to support the vision? Which area can I come in? How do I support they support minded. You know how people serve matters. And somebody did something for me this morning that for the past almost getting to one year and six months, nobody have done that. Took care of things the way things should be, the way the things should be arranged. And I said, wow, I just said, God, just bless her. Use your eye to see needs and fix them. And sometimes it's not money. The person did not give me money. It's not money. There are things hands will do. Huh? What will do it? Hand will do it. Some of us will even see what we can do to hand. Pastor, pay this person now to do this one. 
Pastor, pay this person not to do this one. Pastor, pay this person not to do this one. Pay who? who? Why you not pay them? Pastor, pay. Pastor, pay. Pastor, pay. Most of those things who can do it. Pay for what? Not to pastor. It's to Jesus. It's to Jesus. You know, sometimes I look at some people and I say, for sake of respect and courtesy, there are things I hear. I say, this is not ideal. Who could do this? One of the keys to prospering is to see something and fix it. I can fix that thing. We don't need to pay anybody to do that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are things we we design in ministry and things we do, videos and many things. If I'm to pay for it, how much can I pay? How much? Somebody took upon himself and said, Pastor, that's my job. That's my job. I'm making it to YouTube every day. So much is involved. What can you do for Jesus? Somebody wants to come for work, they run. When it comes to sharing something, they show up. Amen. Amen. When it comes to work, <laughs> me, I cannot do this one. And I see young people doing that, and I wonder, young man, you don't have energy. To serve the Lord. To serve. To work for God. To clean for God. To sweep. To do something. I may not be able to give money, but I can do this. I can clean. I will come early to clean them. I cannot be able to, uh, that's, this is what I have. This is what I can give for this level. You are giving. You know, if it's only them, this place will be dusty. They will just go. How are you? Bless you. How are you? This place is not properly clean. What are they doing? They are not cleaning it. What is pastor doing with them? Uh, don't put me here. Put me on the other side. Buy fan, put there now. If he do in any part of the church, you buy a fan and put in that area. That's what Mr. Ben used to do, the late Mr. Ben. When he was alive, he used to come to this church. If he sits in a place and there is no fan there, the next, the next service day, he has sent them to put fan in that place. Not to say, what is the church doing? You are the church. Accepting responsibility in the kingdom adds to your life. That's what makes you flourish and prosper. Look for opportunity to do things. The things you can do, do them. Just, just, just volunteer yourself and serve God. You're not serving the pastor. Because me too, I'm doing my part. You volunteer and serve. When I see some people, the way they serve God, I say, if God answers a prayer like this, you go like him. The way they serve God, answer a prayer. You come when he won't come. I say, Father, please, can, can you give me a job? He say, uh, my daughter, please, can you help in uh, cleaning something in church? Father, please, can you give me my wife? My son, please, can you be faithful to me? Imagine the prayers I go like that. You don't know that God to pray. Ah, who does he pray to? He's trying to talk to you whether you can help him. Look for the things you can fix. Don't be this kind of person that you just come to church to take. You know some people, what they come to do is to take and take and take and take. Nothing wrong in taking. But you see, as you're taking, be thinking. As you're taking, be thinking, what can I do? Well, see, this is the key to abundance. The reason why they came into abundance was because Joseph was a man who served God. This abundance came because Joseph was a man who knew how to serve God. Take your service and commitment to another level. 
take your service and commitment to the Lord to another level in the ministry and said, I'm going to give my best. Service to God is a key. The last thing is the praise. Make your praise be known. It's not a seven years to mama, it's a seven years to praise the Lord. You know, some people, they, all they do is to mama. No, praise him, thank him, glorify him. Put him first. Just that things did not go your way doesn't mean you should be bitter and be angry. There are people, if things don't go, they didn't go their way. No, things must not always go your way. Huh? Even in marriage. You decide to do it this way. Your husband says, let's do it this way. Sometimes allow it. The wife says, let's do it this way. Sometimes you allow it. But if things always go your way, it means you're a witch. I'm telling you. You're controlling. And people don't like controlling. They will soon revert against you and you don't like it. Things will not always say, oh, okay. Let's do. There are times you want to do something in church here. Yeah? And maybe they bring suggestions. It's okay, do it. Do it that way. Let's do it that way. But like I said, I'm the pastor of this church. You cannot do it that way. Let's do it that way. That way we'll get results. Okay, let's do it that way. Amen. Don't be a kind of person that you want to be domineering. People don't like you dominating them. God knows not dominate people. He said dominate things. Have dominion over creeping things. self clear today. So you, 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 you learn to give praise. You learn to thank him. You learn to praise him. Praise him with everything. Praise him with your life. That these seven years, friends, I am in for these seven years. Man, I've locked myself. You see these seven years of great abundance? Jesus, bear me witness. He no, I'm going to have amazing return of seed sown, of seed planted, of things I believe for, of things I want to see. Let these seven years be a seven years where you can see him, where you can move in his direction, where you can have abundance of visitation. Make praise a lifestyle. Wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I thank you. Wake up and let's rise and just give him praise. I like us to prophesy. I prophesy over these seven years. It is seven years of great abundance. Seven years of massive abundance. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you believe for? Seven years. Is before us word, prayer, submission to the Holy Ghost, submission, service. There are key points mentioned in this service. In these seven years of plenty, the spiritually minded hate sin with passion. Don't keep company with people who can feed your flesh. Keep company with people that will help you accelerate in the with people that will that will move forward your dream, that will move forward your vision, your assignment. Keep company with them. Keep company with them. Rika Pradeske to Loprosoko to Daba. Keep company with them. Evil communication corrupts good manner. Keep coming with people that will strengthen your walk with God, your vision with God, your assignment with God. Seven years of great abundance. Seven years where you will do outstanding things. Seven years where we're going to see results in places we never thought we could have had results in those areas. Lord, I thank you for these seven years. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Tell him thank you. If you're in school now, you'll graduate. If you're a single man, you're getting married and you're having children. Every limitation that may have stand as a resistance, I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. In these seven years, may you have results that will change your thinking. In these seven years, may you have visibility, manifestation, supernatural assistance. May God give you a testimony that will change your story. May you rise above your contemporaries. May the 
things you are not able to achieve, may you be able to achieve it in the name of Jesus. May the things that are far away from you that you have longed to receive, may they come into your life in the name of Jesus. And these seven years of greater abundance, may you see results. May you see manifestation. May you see supernatural release. May you see supernatural comfort. May God energize you. May he keep you. May he sustain you. May he help you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy that these seven years, you will achieve uncommon results. Achievement and establishment. Achievement and establishment. Fruitfulness and miracles. Signs and wonders. I see your babies coming forth. I see your babies coming forth. I see your wedding. I declare it to happen in the name of Jesus. In these seven years, you're owning your own home. I prophesy to someone. One, you will have a change of the ghost in the name of Jesus. Just pray, pray, talk to God for yourself now. Commit these seven years to the Lord. Now talk to God for yourself. Now you're open to speak to God concerning your own seven years. Minister to him, talk to him. Say, Lord, I received these seven years. I believe you for the things I've heard this morning. All the prophetic words you spoke through your prophet this morning. I received those words. I believe those words. Thank you, Father. If you're watching this broadcast or you're listening to this broadcast, I want you to know that God have a plan for you. God have a purpose for you. God have an assignment for you. And your life will not remain the same. And if you're watching and you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father. The Holy Ghost will lead you from this day forward. We want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ace Fitman Teachings on YouTube. And also, you can watch me every day on finishworktv.com. Finishwork TV stream 24 7, helping people around the world. Hallelujah. And you can order our books from Amazon. Fitness and use are available on Amazon.com. And for the things you need to know about your future by Fitman of Weather. And if you're watching the broadcast and you want to give an offering, you want to sow a seed, you can go to finishworktv.com and slash giving. And you can use your master, your visa card, discovery. Whatever card you have can go through that platform. We pray that the blessings of the Lord will rest upon you until our next broadcast. Don't forget this. There is greatness in you. And Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah.